Okay, what were your top three things that you liked about Ambience? Any time today. <laughs>
These guys deserve every ounce of praise. Boy, they work so hard and they absolutely deserve it. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Palladium Theatre, we get ready for the Masquerade Show. Well, it's our final day and we're heading into Amsterdam. We weren't able to dock at the port, but we had a free shuttle into the centre. And after a short walk, passing the Canal Tours booking area, we arrive at Dam Square. Our initial idea was just to walk around the town and just take in the sights. But as the shuttle was not picking us up for another five and a half hours, we thought we'd stop and make a bit of a plan. We're going to the floating flower market. We yeah. are. Watch out, because they're fast and furious. Yes, there are bikes everywhere, so you need to watch out. They take priority. Amsterdam is quite a big city, so it's always worth having a map when you're walking around. So are we lost? I think Google Maps is taking us around in circles. But finally, we reach the flower market. I really think we've stumbled into tulip bulb paradise. Well, it's been all of um, 20 minutes since we left the uh, last bar and it's time to stop for a snack. Yeah. Yes, we're cruising, we're cruising. <laughs> What's it like, yeah? I just noticed the sign that seems to say no alcohol, beds, houses or cats beyond this point. Suitably fed and watered, we continue ambling through the winding streets and canals until we stumble across an outdoor market. Then we come across the Small Prices Shop. Yes, actually called Small Prices Shop. And this is the fantastic owner. I'm 50 years on this market. And I'm in two magazines. And uh, this coming Wednesday we celebrate it. Coming a lots of people. What a fantastic shop this is. Yeah. This really is the place to come if you're looking for that unusual bargain. Well, all of this shopping is starting to build up a little bit of an appetite and it's been at least an hour since we've last eaten. And so it's time for another snack. Yet again, we are fed and watered and we continue taking in the sights of the town. And as the weather takes a turn for the worse, we are undeterred. So we're just heading back to the bus, but we're actually going to walk to the station because uh, actually it has a nice little shopping centre. Actually, not a bad place if you want to kill 10 minutes. Well, we've arrived back at our shuttle pickup point for our allocated collection time. But it doesn't take long for things to get a little bit chaotic as it turns into a bit of a free for all getting on the bus. Despite everyone having different pickup times with tickets clearly indicating this, everyone appeared to arrive all at the same time. I think the staff were a little overwhelmed as confusion and annoyance rippled through the crowds. 
But the drama was relatively short-lived and we made it onto the bus. Well, that was an ordeal, let me tell you. And as we leave the shuttle, I get some amazing shots of the ship. Back on board, it's time for our final sail away. I just love taking a viewing spot of the aft of the ship to watch the intricate manoeuvres of the pilot and the tugboat. It really is fascinating. And as the evening sun shines brightly, we take in the final views of the port. As we head into our final evening, we finish as we started at the centre court. One thing you don't get on any of the cruise ships are these fantastic lounges. Isn't they amazing? Easily pleased. The final cocktail of the cruise. Uh, I don't know what it is. They've ordered this for me as a surprise. So here goes. <laughs> Tequila, lemon, sea salt. Mm. I can't remember what else. Sea salt? Something else. Well, I was just on my way back to my room and I happened to pass the snack trolley. So this is my final snack of the cruise. It's the morning of our disembarkation and I get up super early to watch the sunrise as we enter Tilbury. And what a sight! Just take a look at this. Our disembarkation time was 10.15 and we were promptly called. We promptly made our way off the ship and there was absolutely no queues at all. It's time to leave the ship. I'm so sad. I hate this time. The process was incredibly quick and there were staff everywhere to help. Our luggage was perfectly organised and there were plenty of trolleys available. One of the great things about this terminal is that we were able to just walk out straight to our parked car. It was unbelievable. So easy. And this is where our first cruise on Ambience comes to an end. Bye bye Ambience. Okay, we're back home and it's time for those all important reflections. So what were your top three things about Ambience? I think the staff were absolutely incredible. They were so hard working, always really positive and such a great attitude. They really made everyone feel welcome. I absolutely loved the ship's photographer. He was absolutely great. Everywhere you were, there he was. And we had some fantastic photographs and brilliant memories. I loved the food. What I really loved about um, Ambassador is that in the main dining room, you have four courses. Never had that on any of the cruise ship uh, before. So that was brilliant. And the hot tubs, oh my goodness, absolutely super hot, fantastic views. The only unfortunate thing is that there's only two of them. So Gareth, what were your three things that you liked about Ambience? Well, unfortunately, you've stolen all my three. <laughs> but my top one was the food. So would we book to go on an Ambassador cruise again? As long as the price was right, absolutely. I'm slow mo again, Gaff. <laughs> Stop it. I have a stupid microphone clipped to my gilet. My, my green satin number. Understated, I feel, and yet matching of my gilet, which has the stupid microphone clipped to it. 